Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Recently, the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirmed that the sales of deep ultraviolet lithography machines (DUV) by lithography machine giant ASML to China will no longer be disclosed publicly, except for sensitive commodity export information. This decision has attracted widespread attention because the Netherlands has previously regularly disclosed export information of dual-use goods with potential military uses for experts and institutions such as Parliament. This adjustment not only reflects the subtle changes in the Netherlands semiconductor export policy, but also reveals the complexity of the global semiconductor industry chain in geopolitical games. Dutch Prime Minister Schof said that the Netherlands hopes to decide its export policy to China on its own. This decision of the Dutch government is closely related to the diplomatic pressure from the United States. In recent years, the US government has repeatedly asked the Netherlands to restrict ASML's export of lithography machines to China, especially DUV equipment with potential military users. In 2023, under pressure from the United States, the Netherlands issued a list of dual-use goods with military significance, focusing on ASML's DUV lithography machines. According to the new Dutch policy, the export of DUV equipment requires a license, while the more advanced extreme ultraviolet lithography machines EUV, have been strictly controlled. The Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that disclosing sales information of DUV equipment could be traced back to specific companies, thereby leaking sensitive business data. Therefore, although the EU requires disclosure of license grants for EUV lithography machines, this requirement does not apply to DUV equipment. Rapid Growth of the Chinese Market Despite export controls, the importance of the Chinese market to ASML remains significant. In the first half of 2024, ASML's sales to mainland China were approximately 4.8 billion euros, a year-on-year -year increase of 129%, accounting for 42% of total revenue. In the first three quarters of 2024, Sales to China are expected to reach 7 billion euros. ASML Chief Financial Officer Dai Hojie said that the business in the Chinese market mainly revolves around immersion lithography systems, and the gross profit margin of such systems is significantly higher than the company's overall gross profit margin. It is expected that the overall revenue share of the Chinese market will stabilize at around 20% in 2025. Despite the Dutch government's restrictions on the export of EUV equipment, ASML has maintained a strong growth momentum in the Chinese market by increasing sales of DUV equipment. In addition, ASML has further consolidated its market position in China by providing technical support and after-sales service. China's Ministry of Commerce expressed great concern about the Netherlands' decision, emphasizing that the semiconductor industry is a highly globalized field, and the abuse of export controls seriously threatens the stability of the global semiconductor industry chain and supply chain. China hopes that the Netherlands will respect market principles and the spirit of contract and safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of enterprises in various countries, including Chinese and Dutch enterprises. On January 15, 2025, the Netherlands announced the expansion of the scope of export controls on semiconductor-related items and further tightened export controls on some semiconductor manufacturing equipment and software. This move reflects the complex situation of the global semiconductor market under the influence of geopolitics. 
The United States aims to curb China's technological progress in the semiconductor field by pressuring the Netherlands to restrict ASML's exports. However, this policy has also caused uncertainty in the global semiconductor industry chain, which may lead to supply chain disruptions and increased technological barriers. DUV lithography is one of ASML's core products, mainly used for chip manufacturing with a process of 28 nanometers and below. In December 2024, SMIC announced a 40% price cut for 28 nanometers chips, and then in January 2025, TSMC also announced a 10% price cut. China is the world's largest semiconductor consumer market, and the demand for DUV equipment continues to grow. In the first half of 2024, the number of DUV equipment exported by ASML to China increased significantly, driving its rapid growth in performance. ASML's Response Strategy In the face of the Dutch government's export controls, ASML has adjusted its market strategy, increased its R&D and sales of DUV equipment, and strengthened cooperation with customers to ensure its competitiveness in the Chinese market. The Dutch government's decision to no longer disclose ASML's DUV sales to China is both for the sake of protecting commercial data and reflects the pressure from the United States on the Netherlands semiconductor export policy. This decision has had an important impact on ASML's performance and the stability of the global semiconductor industry chain, and has also triggered China's concerns and responses. In recent times, high-tech companies represented by Huawei have achieved great success in the independent and controllable mass production of 7 nanometer chips. At the same time, China has made many important breakthroughs in the semiconductor field, covering key links such as lithography machines, etching machines, and chip design. The global semiconductor industry chain will face more challenges in geopolitical games. Countries need to find a balance between protecting national security and maintaining market openness to ensure the healthy development of the semiconductor industry. ASML, as a leader in the global lithography field, will continue to have a profound impact on the global semiconductor industry chain with its market strategy and technological innovation.